One of the things that really excites me about CHSU is its mission. It's actually what brought me here. Our mission is to recruit and retain locally so that students from here will stay and serve their families and communities in an area that's really highly underserved in terms of health care. I'm glad to hear that 60% uh, of our students are from the Valley. If you live here and you go to school here, you can grow roots in here, there's a tendency for a lot of people to stay here. Well, we're a brand new university, which is really exciting because it means that we could design things from the ground up. One of the things that we do, for example, is we use uh, an approach to teaching and learning called team-based learning. So the students work in small teams. They have to get up and present, so they develop interpersonal confidence and actually just teamwork skills. Those teamwork skills are really critical because all of our students are going to be entering the healthcare profession and working in interprofessional teams with other professions. So they really get a leg up in terms of that competence. Our mission, our academic mission, is to be a model interprofessional university. And that means that everyone here, whether they be in the medical school or the pharmacy school or any of the programs that we plan to open, have to be able to collaborate at a really fun, fundamental level. And that means all the way from curriculum design to research and thinking about what we want to achieve with healthcare in the future. I've heard that in the interviews, uh, students that are currently attending school, they, talk, they, they, they meet with the applicants and they talk about how wonderful this place is. To be able to go to school when, when housing for students is affordable, I mean, Bay Area, you can one bedroom, uh, studio goes for $1,500, $2,000. In Fresno, you can get a nice two-bedroom apartment and share for a good couple of students, and it's very affordable. That opportunity is there. We're really looking forward to moving to our new campus, which is going to be near the corner of Alluvial and Temperance in Clovis. And that's sort of kitty corner to Clovis Community Hospital. In the process of building our programs, we're really reaching out to the community to form partnerships with pharmacists, physicians, and healthcare systems so that we can all work together as a team to support healthcare in the Central Valley. And our camp is going to be 90 acres. There's a hospital next door, the freeway next door, Sierra's on the backdrop. I mean, I think we got a really good thing going and a great opportunity. Students who receive scholarships can focus more on their studies. They don't have to worry about where the next meal is coming from. And, you know, actually a lot of our students have families and they have to work. So it adds a huge burden when you think about how heavy the course load is for most professional programs. If you give a scholarship to our students, you've made it actually much easier for them to be successful. Higher education is really getting to be expensive. There are a lot of reasons for that, but accreditation is one of them. We have to have a fairly small student-to-faculty ratio, and so pro programs can get expensive. And when you think about people that are going into the health professions, they need to get a baccalaureate, or at least close to a baccalaureate, be before they even start their healthcare professional program. So they accumulate a lot of debt over time. And the problem with that is that paying off the, that debt can be really overwhelming. There are some people that are even afraid to come into the health professions because facing the amount of debt is something that culturally they're not comfortable with. You come to one of our ceremonies, the White Coat Ceremony, and you look at the faces of these students and their parents, and you see we really are doing something worthwhile. And as you know, we have a we have a foundation that is set up here to, to help our students. Yes, we do have philanthropy work that we give them fish, but truly it's been said that teach them how to fish. When we help just a few people, it elevates the whole community and builds prosperity in the region.